We are a French company that has 10 years old now. We design and we manufacture robots uh, for farming industry. We work on several uh, crop markets. So we have robots for different specialty crops. And this is Oreo, uh, which is designed for large-scale vegetable production. So Oreo is versatile. It means that we can seed with the machine in total autonomy. We can weed and cultivate the field after having seeded with the same machine as well. So this machine is working fully autonomously on GPS or TK, driven with GPS or TK, and it's 100% electrical as well. We have uh, plenty of clients for this unit in France, in Europe in general as well. We're starting um, releasing these units since this year in, uh, in the US, it's pretty new, and so far the clients have been very happy we provided a lot of uh, thousands of acres of services with this machine all over the season in Salinas, in the Central Valley, and also right now in the Imperial Valley in, in, in Yuma as well. And clients are very satisfied with uh, the autonomy of the machine, the quality of the weeding, the quality of the seeding, the easiness to move one equipment to the other. So it's a three-point hit, so it's pretty easy to put one implement and to swap using the other one as well. So maintenance is pretty uh, low on this kind of machine as well. So, so far the, the, the outputs and the feedback from the clients are very uh, successful, yeah. Well, being able to work and partner closely with researchers means a lot because uh, we get the opportunity to explain better what we are doing, what the robot are capable of doing as well. Uh, we have the opportunities to work with, train and work with students too because they are gonna be the future of the, well, future clients maybe, future users, future operators, future supervisors, maybe future de designers of the robot too. So it makes a lot of sense to have the industry and the research also and academics together in, in this, uh, I would say, uh, growing partnership, yeah. So funny story is that Nayo has been the company that created the FIRA in 2016 in Toulouse, in France. And this is the first edition, so now it's the GOFAR, the association organizing the FIRA uh, in France, in Toulouse, every year. And they wanted to have the first edition in the US because, well, as you, as you see and as you know, uh, agrobotics is growing all over the, the world and mainly in the US at a huge market. And there is so many industries here, so it made a lot of sense to have also a first edition in, in, in California. So, well, we have been partners and also first creators of the FIRA uh, a lot of, a few years ago so it, it made a lot of sense for the for us to be attending today as well.